watch what happens when you do this. Recycling is an important part of our lives and it really does make a difference. Last year, enough paper was recycled to save 41 million trees. Plus, enough recyclables were processed to fill the Empire State Building more than 11 times. See, it's simple. When you recycle, you're helping your family, your community, and the world we live in today and tomorrow. Hi, I'm Michael. We're here at the Recycling Center in Western Broward County. They recycle 800 tons of paper, plastic, metal, and glass here each day. That equals 250,000 tons per year. Before the recyclables get here, let's find out where it all starts. At our homes. That recycling facility's efforts save enough energy to power 833,000 thousand household. In 2005, recycling in the U.S. saved enough energy to power 9 million homes. Nationally, recycling has prevented the release of nearly 15 million metric tons of greenhouse gas emissions. If those 15 million tons were put on rail cars, the train would be about 2,836 miles long and stretch from Fort Lauderdale to Los Angeles. Here's another cool fact. Did you realize that recycling one aluminum can saves the energy it takes to run a TV for three hours? And that's just one can. By recycling more than 32,000 tons of aluminum, we save enough energy to run one million TVs for 17 hours a day for an entire year. So tune in and start recycling. So what can we recycle? With Broward County's new single stream recycling system, all recyclables can go into one container. First, paper. What I mean by that is newspapers, magazines, cardboard, office paper, OJ cartons, oh yeah, be sure to rinse them out and throw the caps away, junk mail, phone books, paperboard or cereal boxes, and those macaroni and cheese boxes. Uh-oh, I'm out of macaroni and cheese. I love macaroni and cheese, don't you? Next, metals. I talked about aluminum cans earlier. Did you know on average, Americans drink one beverage from an aluminum can every day? But we only recycle just over 50% of the cans we use. We can do better. Steel or tin cans are on this list too. You know, those containers that have our canned veggies? Oh, and Spot's dog food. Right, Spot? Plastic is next on our list of recyclables. Did you know Americans throw away 38 billion plastic water bottles every year? Now how can you tell whether to put a plastic container into your recycling bin? In Broward County, we recycle plastic bottles, also known as narrow neck containers. For example, code one is polyethylene terephthalate, we can call it PET or PEE. These are soft drinking water bottles or containers for salad dressings and ketchup. Always remember to rinse all of them out and remove and throw away the caps and straws that are in the bottles. When recycled, pet plastics are used to make furniture, carpet, and new containers. Code two is high density polyethylene, or HDPE. These are milk jugs, juice bottles, laundry detergent, and shampoo bottles. When recycled, HDPE plastics are used to make recycling containers, benches, dog houses, and picnic tables. Remember to keep dirty containers out of your recycling bin. That greasy pizza box or leftover hamburger in a bale of plastic can spoil the whole load. Also remember not to recycle anything that contained hazardous materials, such as motor oil or pesticides. Take these to a household hazardous waste station, or if they are empty, you can throw them away in your regular trash. What's next on our list? Oh yeah, glass. Glass is endlessly recyclable, and most glass bottles and jars produced in the United States now contain at least 25% recycled glass. 
which also requires 75% less energy to produce than glass made from new materials. Did you know a glass bottle can take up to a million years to decompose? About 61% of glass containers produced in this country are clear. Clear glass is made of a combination of sand, soda ash, and limestone. Clear glass is sometimes used for beverages. More often it's used to package solids or thick liquids such as pasta sauce that may not be sensitive to light. However, clear glass may cause some products to degrade because of light exposure. That's why about 39% of the glass produced is colored like green glass that's used for mineral water and brown glass that's used for root beer bottles. You know, the ones used to make those yummy root beer floats? Okay, we now know what to recycle and its importance, but where do you put your newspaper, mixed paper, plastic bottles, metal cans, and glass containers? Well, it all depends on where you live. Some people may have a central recycling receptacle area. These are for multi-family homes. Or there's curbside recycling, which now includes single stream for single family homes. It's where you get to put paper, plastic bottles, metal, and glass all in one container. It could be a bin or a cart, depending on what your city provides. This means no sorting. That means no excuses, so everyone can do their part and recycle. So what happens once you've done your part? Your recyclable materials are then picked up and brought to the Materials Recovery Facility, or MRF. Let's head back to the Ruder Recovery Center and see how the simple act of recycling can help protect our natural resources and save energy. Over 100 trucks arrive here daily. They are carefully weighed and information about their load is recorded. Trucks enter the recycling plant and empty their recyclables here on the tipping floor. There are enough recyclables bought here each year to fill a train 60 miles long. The materials are first directed to the main feed conveyor and then directed to several sorting areas. Let's go inside and listen to how they process all those recyclables. The first pre-sort area is where non-recyclable materials, including large objects and plastic bags, are removed. If there are any plastic bags that contain recyclable materials, they are opened at the pre-sort area, emptied onto the conveyor, and the bags are put into the trash. The recyclable materials continue through the 100,000 square foot building that is filled with state-of-the-art equipment. The first series of disc screens are specially designed pieces of equipment that consist of rows of rotating discs which push certain materials over the top, while other materials fall in between or through the discs and get redirected to another conveyor. The larger pieces of cardboard are being removed by this screen. Then they are sent directly to a storage area for future bailing. The remaining recyclables, the ones that have fallen between the disc screens, are then sent to the next sort area called the fine screen. This section removes fine items such as broken glass. The recyclables then proceed to the combination screen. This area separates paper materials from rigid household containers. The first section of this screen removes most of the newspaper. Newspaper includes all paper items normally found in your newspaper, even the inserts and advertisements. It is then filtered onto a processing line where any materials other than newspaper are manually sorted. 
The sorting lines are elevated so materials taken off the line can be stored in bunkers underneath it. When the bunkers are filled, they are fed into the baler which compresses the material and then automatically ties it. The back section of this screen makes the final separation of mixed fiber from the rigid containers. After the disc screens have sorted out the paper, the containers proceed to the shaker table which sifts out smaller debris. The containers then fall onto a vibrating conveyor that bounces them onto another conveyor which leads to the plastic sorting line. Here a magnet removes the steel cans. The next step in this process is to manually remove any remaining paper products from the containers. The material is then fed into another screen that breaks and removes the glass materials. The glass material is transferred by conveyor to an outside storage area. The remaining materials, consisting mainly of plastic containers and aluminum cans, are then sent across an eddy current separator. The eddy current creates a magnetic field that propels the aluminum cans across a diverter and into a storage bunker for bailing. The remaining plastic containers are then sent to the plastic processing area. This area uses a high-tech system with advanced optical sorting technology to identify the type of plastic from other recyclables. After the optical sorter determines the type of plastic container, a blast of air propels the container onto another conveyor and onto its designated bunker. Once the bunkers are filled, the contents are released onto one of the main baler conveyors that feed the baling equipment. This baler compresses the material, then ties into bales with wire. These bales are stored, then loaded onto trailers to be delivered to the end user. Strict quality limits are maintained by the end users of all baled products, making contamination removal a very important part of the production process, both at the recycling plant and where it all starts, in your home where you prepare recyclables. Did you know when you recycle, you're helping to save energy, trees, water, and other precious resources? Plus, you're reducing global warming, pollution, the need for more landfills, and the costs of solid waste collection and disposal. In other words, you're helping to create a healthier environment. Here in Broward County, recycling is simple. Wow, was that a great place or what? Joining us now is Don McCormick from Waste Management. Hi, Michael. Hi, Don. How are you? Great. Awesome. Don, recycling really makes a big difference. It does. And we're very proud of this facility here in Pembroke Pines. The Ruder Recycling Facility is the largest in the southeastern United States, and the people of South Florida are fortunate to have it here. So we want to encourage the people of South Florida to continue to recycle. Well, thank you very much for that great tour, Don. Greatly appreciate it. You're welcome. Here are some ways recycling makes a big difference to our environment. In one year, the recycling facility has helped save 368,000 cubic yards of landfill space and avoid the cutting of nearly 2 million fir trees, save 12.6 million gallons of gasoline and 2.8 billion gallons of water, save 472 million kilowatts of electricity and eliminate 9.6 million pounds of air pollutants. Awesome stuff, huh? Recycling every day, everywhere. That's what it's all about. Tell your mom, dad, grandpa, and grandma. Tell everyone. With everybody's help, we can make a difference too. Want to learn more? Go to Broward.org waste. Click the Kids Corner icon. There you'll find all sorts of useful ways to help recycle, and you can even play games. It's the wonderful world of waste, where Broward County makes garbage go away in the most earth-friendly way.